installation of the Mile Marker PE8000 is a simple process. Your Mile Marker winch comes with everything needed to hook it up to your vehicle's battery. When unpacking your new winch, check to make sure that all parts are included. Refer to the assembly drawings and parts lists within the owner's manual. The winch kit comes with the 8,000 pound winch and cable, solenoid box assembly, roller fair lead, solenoid attaching bracket, remote control pendant, hook and hook strap assembly, and all mounting fasteners. Make sure that before you start you have the following tools. A pair of snap ring pliers, two 15 millimeter wrenches, a cutting instrument, a 10 millimeter wrench, a 6 millimeter Allen wrench, and a 14 millimeter wrench. Due to the thick swage at the eyelet of the cable, it is sometimes necessary to remove two of the rollers from the fair lead in order to pull the eyelet through the opening of the roller fair lead after the winch is mounted. So using a pair of snap ring pliers, remove the C-clamps from one of the horizontal and vertical rollers. Remove the two rollers from the roller fair lead. It is important to make sure the winch is mounted on a flat surface, at least one quarter inch or six millimeters thick. Mount the roller fair lead using two of the 10 by 34 millimeter bolts and lock nuts supplied. Place the bolt through the back side of the plate with the threaded side facing forward. Now, attach the lock nut to the bolt. You'll need at least two wrenches to tighten the roller fair lead up firmly to the mounting plate assembly. Before mounting the winch to the mounting plate, you first have to insert the four 15 millimeter lock nuts into the winch's mounting feet. Now you are ready to mount the winch to the winch guard or winch bumper. Using the four 10 by 34 millimeter bolts supplied, thread them into the four nuts which you've already inserted into the winch's mounting feet. torque to 45 foot-pounds. In order to pull the cable out to attach the hook assembly, you'll have to first cut the rubber retainer from the end of the cable assembly. To free spool the cable out to attach the hook, you first need to flip the clutch lever into the out position. Now you can free spool the winch by simply pulling on the end of the cable assembly. When completed, Simply flip the clutch lever back into the in position. This will lock the drum from any unwanted further rotation. Now reinstall the horizontal and vertical rollers that were removed earlier by reattaching the C-clamps with a pair of snap ring pliers. Once the roller fair lead and winch are firmly mounted to the vehicle, we will now attach the solenoid bracket to the solenoid box assembly using the four lock washers and four 10 millimeter nuts applied. Before we can attach the solenoid bracket assembly to the winch, we must first remove the two six millimeter Allen screws that attach the tie bars to the electric motor side of the winch. Once these have been removed, we can now attach the solenoid bracket assembly to the winch by inserting the two Allen screws through the flange surface of the solenoid bracket and reinstalling them to the tie bars. I can turn it. Okay. For additional support, a tie-down strap is provided. This attaches the solenoid bracket to the electric motor. We are almost ready to attach the electronics to the vehicle's battery. But before we do that, we must first attach the wires to the electric winch motor. 
Remove the two nuts and washers from the end of the motor terminals as shown. Then attach the two short black wires from the solenoid box assembly to the motor terminals. And secure with the nuts and washers which we've just removed. We are now ready to attach the electronics of the winch to the vehicle's battery supply. You will have to attach the one remaining long black wire to the battery's negative terminal. And then attach the long red wire to the battery's positive terminal. Finally, we'll attach the hook assembly to the cable. Insert the cotter key and using a pair of pliers, twist one of the stems back to lock it in place. Now to use the winch, simply plug the remote control in and you're ready for action. Whatever you're driving, we know you'll appreciate how easy it is to install your mile marker winch. At MileMarker, we pride ourselves on providing you with the most innovative and best-valued products anywhere. They've been tested to the extreme and abused worldwide.